Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life and today I have a mommy, a toddler favorites video for you. If you haven't seen these from me before, this is where I share with you guys random kind of mommy favorites, things that I have been loving this month and then things that my son has been loving. So my son is about two and a half years old, have a couple of things that he has been loving to do and play with this month. So if you're interested in seeing what we've been doing, then keep watching. Also want to say if you're interested in more of like beauty, makeup, skincare, fashion favorites, head over to Lizzie Loves. I have a beauty of favorites video that has gone live on that as well if you're interested in more like beauty, skincare, fashion, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to first start off with me and kind of the obsession I've had are fall candles. Oh my gosh, I love them. So I actually posted a fall haul video. If you're interested, it'll be linked in the card. And this one has been my favorite. I'm so happy to be burning this. This is the pumpkin donut shop candle and it smells so good. How I like my fall with the bakery notes in there. I love to bake in the fall time. So this is glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices sprinkled with powdered sugar. It just kind of smells like the state fair, but like the sugary state fair, if you know what I mean. So really happy about that. And I've been burning it. I'm like about halfway done, which is sad. But I have a couple other candles as well. So be sure to check that video out. And then this thing, guys, this is a lifesaver. I've ha recharged it now twice and it just works great. So this is an electric lighter or candle lighter or just electric lighter. So it has a button that is covered. If you slide down, you slide up and you'll see that it is fully charged right there. It's because I fully charged it. And then the power button is right there. So you have to hold it down in order to get the little spark to light your candles. This is just really fun to play with and have. Perfect for fall time and it is rechargeable. No batteries. It has a little micro USB kind of port down at the bottom that you just kind of plug in with your USB cords, which we all have nowadays. And it's just really nice to have. Also a good stocking stuffer kind of idea if you're interested and want ideas for that. I'll have a video coming soon when it gets closer to holiday shopping time, but I love this thing. Definitely check it out, especially if you're burning candles for the fall time. The other thing I have been obsessed with this month is the show on Netflix called Home Edit. Basically, it's these two girls who just kind of organize random parts in people's houses, garages, things like that. So I have organized Jackson's books organized like our kitchen. I organized our closet. I didn't film that. I will link my get it all done fall video up above for you guys interested in when I did majority of my kitchen. I've previously already done like my pantry stuff like that. Haven't shared with you guys that but they're not like clear bins or anything like that but just getting organized and decluttering again like another wave especially since we're halfway through the year or more than halfway now is really fun and I've been enjoying that. I also have decorated our house for fall time and Jackson one of Jackson's favorites are the spiders that I got so these are from Amazon I have them lined up like crawling up the staircase but he really likes playing with them copper likes them but we have to put them up because copper is my dog he will kind of try and want to rip the legs off of them so they're really fun to kind of chase your toddler around the house or have him play with the dog really fun and they're affordable you can put them out on your patio outside if you'd like or you can play with them inside so a really fun kind of reusable thing you can have to help decorate for fall and halloween time continuing on with other tv shows that me and my husband have really been enjoying. One is the Umbrella Academy. We actually got into that this past month and really enjoyed it. We didn't watch it when it previously came out because now season two came out this past month, but we have finished season one and two. I really enjoy that. It's kind of like a superhero, like what is it called? Like an X-Men version kind of type thing, if you know what I mean. It's kids who all have powers basically. So that's the gist of it without giving too much information. Check it out if you're interested and you like sci-fi, like superhero kind of stuff. Check that out on Netflix. And then another thing that we've been loving is Big Brother. We are huge Big Brother fans and Big Brother has been going on all summer, I guess towards the end of summer. It's still on now, tonight. 
is their triple eviction and I am super excited for it but it would have already happened by the time you're watching this this is for next week but anyway you know YouTube timing but Big Brother is really good I think it's probably still gonna be on though by the time you're watching this and a really good show so moving on to toddler things so a couple shows Jackson has been interested in and loving we actually just got noggin now I was kind of like on the fence about getting another kind of streaming service but Paw Patrol, if you guys have toddlers or kids, you guys know Paw Patrol. He's been so obsessed with it. We just got him this little rubble sweatshirt jacket for school time and for winter, like fall time. We have like a Mickey Mouse one too, but he picked this one out and has been loving it. Even just like holding it in the car it makes him so happy. So that is his favorite character and he loves it. So we did just get the Noggin subscription. I do like that it comes with an app that has games you can play with. So I'm actually thinking of canceling ABC Mouse, which is another subscription service that we kind of paid for. Um, so I'm thinking of stopping that and just doing Noggin and then he has school as well. So I'm not too worried about that kind of stuff. But we've been loving Paw Patrol. I, I had him like, he saw a couple of things that he wanted like for Christmas. So I just added everything to his Christmas list. We'll see what happens. Keep an eye on sales, that kind of stuff. But definitely Paw Patrol is a favorite. Another thing we have brought out is our Halloween little bags. And this I believe I got from like personalized... No, personal creations. I will link the site. They have a whole bunch of different kinds. This does glow in the dark. Halloween is a touchy subject this year. We plan on like having him go to like couple houses that we know and walking around looking at the decorations and stuff because he loves decorations. But I don't know about how much of him actually going to get the candy is going to happen this year. But he can still hold it and be really cute. And this does glow in the dark for those that do go out late at night. So we've been enjoying playing with this. One thing we like to do is I have a big ball pit. If y'all haven't been following me for a while, but I do have a ball pit and we get different colored balls and use it kind of as candy and trick or treat like that and fill up your basket, that kind of stuff. Color sort with this. A lot of different games you can do with bags, bins, what have you. So fun way to play with a trick or treat bag, even though it's not Halloween time. Uh, another thing we've been loving, Jackson is really into books. And recently at Target, I saw this book and we've been obsessive reading this book. This is We're Going on a Goon Hunt and this is kind of a parody of We're Going on a Bear Hunt which is one of his all-time favorite books. So this one is a fun kind of spooky edition where you're trying to find a goon and each kind of phase they get more scared as it goes on. There's sea monsters, zombies, Frankenstein, werewolf, all that kind of stuff in this book. A really fun book that kind of has the music sing-along background that they already have the tune in their head so they really enjoy it. Jackson really enjoys it. So check this book out if you're interested in amping up your Halloween spooky collection. Another toy that is a recent purchase is this guy right here. Now Jackson was starting school and he really wanted to be in a school bus. Now my issue with Amazon and my husband knows this is dimensions are not my friend. And I was looking for a little miniature kind of school bus that he can hold on to while he was in the back seat of our car going to school. This is what came. So he honestly has loved it. What I will say though is he's like, why aren't the lights turning on? Where are the wipers? Where's the, like all, all the nitpicky things. He wants the window, all that kind of stuff. So... That's my toddler for you. But what's really neat about this one, I don't know how well you can see, is they have a whole bunch of different seats. So he gets all his little action figure kind of things and sits them, I don't know how well you can see that, sits them into the seats of the bus and we'll drive them around. We also have a foam mat. I'll link it, oh, I'll link in the description, but there's a picture of our mat and it's kind of just like car driving town and he'll drop them off at the hospital or pick them up from school things like that so that's been really fun but yeah I definitely need a smaller version of this for the car because he does still ask to hold a school bus on the way to school he really wants to be in a school bus but um COVID and preschool just not gonna happen so we do play with this a lot and then the last thing which is super affordable and like a genius thing to have 
on hand just for random reasons are flashlights. So I have a set of these I picked up from Amazon. It comes with two little ones like this and two bigger ones. I have a giant one that's like emergency purposes only. This one takes like two AA or AAA batteries and he loves like going to find stuff. So we'll turn off all the lights and he'll take his flashlight and we'll go on a spooky hunt, a goon hunt. Like I can, what we've done before is I'll hide the construction paper triangles, like different color triangles all over the house. So he'll have to go on a hunt and try and find them. So he's really been enjoying like hide and seek and stuff. A lot of different games you can do with a flashlight. I'll link these down below if you're interested, but I mean, use any kind of flashlight you have and can find. It's just a fun like thing for them to play with. And we actually learned that from grandma and papa who let him play with theirs so I decided to get him his own little special flashlight as well. But that is everything that we have been loving this month. Let me know what y'all have been loving. I am really excited. It is officially October so I have a whole bunch of Halloween things to share with you guys. I've done a couple in the past so I will link my happy fall playlist down below so you can see kind of different toddler ideas, snack ideas, crafts, cleaning, random decorations. So check that playlist out if you are interested and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it